so what we're doing is this is going to be uh basically at the time of the upload of this youtube video this is going to be my shadow release farewell um the sonic po6 silver release is getting really close to wrapping up on beta testing we're not entirely entirely sure of a release date but uh i just wanted to send this out here and this will be my final youtube full-length youtube video on the po6 shadow release uh exclusively so i'm really really excited for that maybe sometime this week we'll get it let's go ahead and get this started here sonic po6 all the major glitches in three two one let's go so as people may know especially those who are familiar with the stream you can in fact break out of the beginning automation here in wave ocean and uh if you do a high jump which is pressing a and x at the same time which is a shadow release exclusive you have a 27 percent chance of clipping through this water and landing um on the collision on the ocean floor come on sonic let's go it's got to be this retail hud messing me up all right so we're just gonna sit here until we clip through um and then we get to show off a bunch of fun stuff because this won't be the only time we're going to be doing some shenanigans with that oh all right perfect we can get it on the third try so now that we're underwater in wave ocean we can pretty much go wherever we want as long as we are on the same level of elevation and we don't jump uh, because there's a kill plane both above and below Sonic, but thankfully not in this nice nestled area between. And clearly, you were not meant to go here. So, <laughs> the first thing we're going to do uh, that I'm going to show off is what we do normally in the speedrun route. Because uh, that's just, you know, how we show off some glitches. So, we're just going to head right over here to where Tails, um, Tails normally is. And... Uh, or I guess we're going to the Orca spawn location that switches us over to Tails. Now, the thing is, is when we switch to Tails, we're actually going to be controlling both Sonic and Tails at the same time. But we don't want Sonic to move or else he's going to die. So what we're going to do is when we approach uh, Tails' trans uh, switch here, we're actually going to hold RT and that's going to allow us to use uh, and hold the Sky Gem. And you can actually see Sonic over there on the right side. Uh, holding the Sky Gem underwater. Now, we can't go hit the switch with Tails because Sonic's not on the Orca, so we're literally just gonna soft lock if we do it. So we needed another way to get over there. Uh, and what we can do is Tails has this funny little quirk where if you run out of flight and then rhythmatically press X and B, he's gonna throw a dummy ring bomb and then do his air tailspin, which is just gonna give him height off of that dummy ring bomb and Tails can basically fly infinitely. So right out of the gate, we're uh, kind of destroying the game as, uh, <laughs> as much as possible, which is pretty fun. All right, back underwater once more. Found a glitch on accident. I, none of this is accidental. All of this has already been found. How could you, Stelmo? How could you do it? Yeah, it's looking pretty rough. Oh, crap. <laughs> What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna try something. So similarly to how we got out and got into Sonic's portion, I think we should be able to just hop here and booyah, this is how we get over to Shadow's portion. This is probably something if anybody's seen Darkspine Sonic back in the olden days of YouTube, he, he is like one of the oldest old heads on uh, Sonic, Sonic 06 uh, content, like just in general. And he would post a lot of videos on how to get to other character sections uh, with other characters. So yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, he's awesome. Crap. <laughs> so here we are in Shadow's section. And you can do this at home. You don't even need the photo mode. You're just going to have to, you know, spend hours just uh, throwing Sonic into the ocean and hoping you clip through. But yeah, you can kind of explore Shadow's section here, which is pretty cool. All right. So the last thing I want to show off in Wave Ocean is uh, the Amigo skip. In Sonic Story, there is a way to skip every single Amigo change and you can just play the game entirely as Sonic or Snowboard Sonic or Mock Speed Sonic or Sonic and Princess Elise because they just love throwing Sonic into a million different situations in this game. Uh, so what we wanna do in order to set up for this Amigo skip is we are going to grab level three blue gem and level three purple gem if you're new to PO6 and you don't know, uh, the gems actually have levels, kind of like how they were supposed to conceptually. 
at least from what we know from the manual. And, um, yeah. Uh, the blue gem at level 3 just gives us a really big speed boost. The purple gem at level 3. Every level you level up the purple gem, you get an additional jump. With, uh, up to 3 jumps. Up to 3 jumps. And believe me, we are going to need all 3 of those jumps. So what we want to do here is just head on over to the uh, section here where we switch the tails and have the orca and stuff. And what we want to do first is we're going to jump here and then do a blue gem high jump into some purple gem jumps. And that's going to avoid the jump panel and that dash panel. Now, if we move any far forward past these rings here, the orca is going to come and destroy the bridge, which uh, we don't want to have happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this pillar for safety and then almost die, but we're not dead, which is good. Then we're going to do a blue gem high jump. Whoa. I said blue gem high jump. There we go. And uno, dos, trace. That's going to completely avoid the orca trigger uh, to trigger the orca on the bridge so that we can set this part up. Which what we're going to do is we're going to get really close. You can see where like these water stains are. That's what triggers the uh, boardwalks to fly upwards. So we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to angle like this and then uh, die because that's just how these things go. <laughs> so I'll meet you back there. Hello, Sonic. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And there we go. We completely skipped the Orca and having to switch to Tails. So what we're going to do is just uh, kind of go through Tails' a section. Uh, but with Sonic, so we're going to have to use the gems a little bit to actually uh, keep going here. How I did that is was the blue gem high jump, and then I used three purple gems. And then the white gem in the shadow release has a glitch to where if you do a bounce attack and then white gem, you keep getting jump dashes until you run out of meter. And then I just did one double homing attack to finish off and get the four homing attacks there, uh, which is kind of crazy. Now, the thing is, is just like uh, when Sonic wasn't on the Orca before, we couldn't hit the switch. So we need to find a different way to get Sonic uh, to the load trigger. And how we're going to do that? Of course, it's Sonic 06. So what could be less broken than the Sky Gem? Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to stand here on the ridge of the lighthouse. We're going to aim for this rock structure here and go all the way up. And then what we're going to do is fall down and get absolutely shot so high up that we clear the invisible wall and we can just use some one, two, three, all the way over to the trigger. And there we are in the mock speed section. Absolutely bonkers stuff. That's pretty much everything for wave ocean section one. So in the mock speed section, what we can do of course is roof launches. So we can combine the speed of Mach Speed Sonic with how the current slope physics work off of these very steep inclined slopes on these roofs and launch Sonic up to the egg carrier. Unfortunately, obviously, you're not meant to be able to meet the egg carrier, so you can't actually, like, do anything or interact with it, and Sonic doesn't get hurt or anything by hitting it. But it's still a really cool thing. One of the main tricks that got me uh, into Project 06 speedrunning in the first place um, but, uh, let's see if I can get the second one here. All right, here we go. The second roof launch. Can we get it? Uh, that's not going to work. We're just going to whoop, teleport back just like nothing ever happens. And I should be able to find a way to light dash off of something. There we go. Try again. That should do it. Let's go. Not meeting the egg carrier this time because we did have to do a redo, but, uh, yeah, the shenanigans doesn't end there because we can go ahead and uh, do one final launch here with the side of that loop and just take Sonic all the way to the goal ring. And that was pretty much everything in Sonic's Wave Ocean. Uh, absolutely crazy start spending 26 minutes doing all the glitches. I guess you should say for Dusty Desert, um, there isn't really anything we found in terms of glitches. This is already an extremely fast stage. One cool thing that we can do, though, is if I switch back to the Legacy Jump Dash, 
we go back into Dusty Desert here. Again, with the slope ch uh, physics changing, we won't be able to do this in silver. We can just do a quick legacy dash. Whoops. We can do a quick legacy dash off of this dune and jump all the way up and hit that item box here. Now, again, there aren't really many crazy glitches found in Dusty Desert, but one thing I want to note that's pretty interesting, if you didn't know, is that there are two oases for some reason. I would say most people know about the oasis that's over here because this is where shadows like start or uh, changing the section into the inside of Dusty Desert is right there. Uh, so you have this oasis here, but if you didn't know, next to Sonic's start location, there's an oasis here. Uh, these oases don't do anything. In fact, even with Sonic and the princess, the water is not coated to be able to stand on with the shield, even though you can stand on the water in Tropical Jungle. So you just die. Pretty neat little thing, though. I wonder if, you know, maybe originally, because this is uh, pulled directly from 06, maybe Sonic Team had some plans with the Oasis there. But still uh, really cool. Uh, moving on here to uh, White Acropolis. We're in White Acropolis, chat. You know what that means. Get your cat gems, cat jams, cat jam jams, and stomo jams out. In addition, exclamation mark jam and jam in the chats. Get Nightbot to party along with us and let's rave. If we go to section two here, our friends Miles Tales Per Hour can also be skipped. See, there are some giant invisible walls above these laser gates, and obviously you can see that's the end of White Acropolis. Now, Chaos increased these invisible walls uh, between different releases because we found ways to break it before. Um, but uh, even in demo 4.6, which is the Shadow Release 1.6, there are still ways to circumvent having to play his tails and go all the way around White Acropolis. One of those ways is just with the blue gem and probably the easiest way to do it. We just get the searchlight at a good angle, blue gem off of it, and just go right around the invisible wall. And here we are in the end section of White Acropolis. Pretty sick. Another thing we can do is uh, completely ignore tails by uh, just getting a level three blue gem here, standing on a certain angle on this rock, switching to the sky gem, sky gemming against the invisible wall and just hopping right over, being the next uh, Amigo skip uh, for us uh, going into White Acropolis here. Makes the stage really, really fast, which is pretty great. Crisis City and uh, Flame Core uh, well, Flame Core actually is a different beast. Crisis City, uh, there's not a whole lot that uh, we can do uh, in terms of glitches, but there is some cool movement we can do with Shadow Release exclusive movement. Um, but of course, we got to get the 360 first, so we're going to go ahead and do that. All righty, Chad, let's get the 360. Ooh. Beautiful stuff. So our first bit of Shadow Release exclusive movement is we're going to go ahead and just do a high jump there, which is really nice. Use a slope jump, which might be Shadow Release exclusive, I'm not entirely sure, uh, to skip those springs. And then we're going to do a blue gem high jump. Sonic, I said we're going to do a blue gem high jump and a double homing attack to completely skip going around that part so we can just head straight on through here. All right, one other piece of Shadow Release exclusive movement we can do here is blue gem high jump, switch to the white gem, give ourselves a couple of extra jump dashes, and booyah, there we go. Heading on into section three, just like that. Section three doesn't have, uh... Section three doesn't really have anything crazy. Uh, going on with it. Uh, it's just some movement. Uh, there's one high jump we do at the end. Uh, but uh, it's pretty vanilla, actually. Um, we'll just do our one blue gem high jump here and switch to supersonic because I do want to show off the mock speed section. The cursed high jump. Yeah, Joss, right? So the... Um... Mock speed section here is going to be getting updated with a lot more stuff uh, being thrown around. So we're going to say goodbye to the easy mock speed section where with supersonic, all we got to do is pretty much hold forward and we're set. White gem getting nerfed or something. Uh, the white gem that giving, uh, giving jump dashes for the white gem 
Uh, that's a bug. So we can't do that anymore. And the silver release. Make mock speed 72 times longer. Interesting. Yep, that's the old just hold forward and you win mock speed section. Last time we're going to be seeing that. Moving on into Flame Core. Flame Core, my personal favorite stage in Project 06. Uh, it's... Uh, it's certainly a stage. Section 1, there isn't a lot we can do to break it. Uh, like the Sky Jump shenanigans, we didn't wave ocean. Or Sky Jump. Sky Gem shenanigans, we didn't wave ocean. You can actually do some here. Uh, though I've never done this myself, so... I'll try it a couple times here to see if we can get some craziness going on. But you don't have to fight those enemies, I just don't want them in my way. Uh, but I believe we can just kind of aim the Sky Gem there. Maybe if we go where we do that and then move forward. We can get a little boost. Uh, not quite high enough. Let's try, I don't know, a couple more times maybe. I don't know if it's like a glitch or just some weird behavior of the Sky Gym, but sometimes you can get a super, like a super jump. So what I'm going here, when I actually hit the invisible wall, sometimes Sonic will just get shot straight up with so much speed for absolutely no reason. Uh, which is kind of ridiculous, which is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, it's pretty luck-based, so... Uh, oh well. Ooh, that may have worked. Yo, let's go! Uh, again, just got lucky with the super jump. Now, of course, you can clear this room as well, but, uh... I wasn't good enough for that. Red gem time? Not quite, GN. I'll make sure to use it for you, though. So, here in Flame Core Section 2... There's uh, a pretty notorious skip, a skip that made the any percent category for Sonic just absolutely terrible. And this is Knuckles skip, so it's our next Amigo skip here. Um, there's actually two ways to do it. One that's uh, pretty much luck based, it's technically not luck based. But with how the camera is set up, it's uh, pretty unlikely you're actually going to be able to get it. Um, and then the second one is a lot more skill based, uh, just using some high jumps and stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead with our level 3 purple gem, which is required for this. We're going to grab these speed shoes, come over here, grab this invincibility, and then try to clip through the top of this tube. What's interesting is that if you jump in the right spot, the game doesn't know where to put Sonic. So he just kind of appears on the other side of the tube, and we can use the speed shoes and invincibility to get all the way to the end. Uh, so chat, be prepared. Because uh, we're going to be here for a minute. Because I really want to get this. It's getting released publicly? Oh yeah, the randomizer's for sure being released publicly. I would never I would never make something for PO6 and not allow it to be shared. There we go! That's actually the best type of tube clip you can get. Where we don't lose any of the speed by being stuck in it. And then we stand on some invisible collision there. And then just finish off Flame Core. Just like that. Radical Train! Uh, we don't really have anything interesting going on here in section one. The only thing of note is uh, using the double homing attack and high jump to uh, kind of go through some stuff. So I'll show uh, those two little pieces of movement there. Uh, whoops. So getting on that crane took a double homing attack. And then this is a blue gem high jump here. And then there is no uh, wall here. So we can just purple gem hop right over there. And uh, I guess we can go supersonic in the mock speed section. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was scary. Now drink water. I just drank water. Why would I need to drink water again? Also getting really hot. It went from freaking like 40 degrees to like 59. Alrighty, so in the Radical Train Mock Speed section, um, this is a little interesting because uh, what we can do is there's these little pebbles on the ground and we can actually get like a roof jump styled launch off of them. So you can see them. I can actually just go into photo mode here. These guys right here, we can get a rock launch off of them. I'm gonna try for a little bit to get one. Uh, if we don't get one, whatever. I have, uh, I have a lot of shorts, so I'll link one in the card right now. You only need blue. What is it? Oh, rock launch. Let's go, baby. Woo. Yo, clearing it. 
Oh, dang. I was hoping we'd phase through that, but that was really Hydration? Cool. It's good. It's good to hydrate, for sure. Tropical jungle? I figured... I figured, you know, you guys, uh, you guys have seen these, uh, these stages a million times, at least those who are live with me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut straight to where I want to show stuff off. Um... Uh, which would be right over here. So, if we uh, get to the log section of Tropical Jungle with Sonic and Elise, uh, normally, you're supposed to go all the way around this automation. It takes so long. It's super lame and all that good stuff. But what we're going to do is uh, skip all of that automation. There's a really easy way to do this. Uh, whoa, got some speed there. There's an easy way to do this called... Uh, well, this trick, I guess, is called log skip. And there's an easy variant and a hard variant. The easy variant is to just use the slope of the log and the speed from those dash panels to go over this giant kill plane that's above here and then take these uh, dash panels and jump panels into section two. But if you uh, got a big, big uh, hubris and want to actually uh, do the fastest way possible, what you do here, hit the dash panels, jump, jump, jump dash. This gets us over the kill plane. And then we spin back around and then hit the trigger to go straight into section two, which is about four seconds faster uh, than what we did before. Uh, tra tropical jungle section two, not really any glitches. So uh, we're gonna head on to Kingdom Valley. So Kingdom Valley, section one, nothing to really write home about. Uh, we just got, you know, uh, normal gameplay here. What I'm really interested in heading is uh, Kingdom Valley. I believe it's section D because for some reason uh, the sections are labeled in the order Sonic travels through them except for Kingdom Valley. He goes to section D second, which is kind of interesting. What we can do here is uh, our next Amigo skip is skipping silver. Uh, so basically what we have to do is we have to throw the Sky Gem right here and pray that we get a good launch, which we did not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the easy variant. So we're just not, you know, here forever. Um, this one isn't too, uh, too much worse. We just stand on this pillar here. I don't want to stand a little far back. Aim for this uh, outcropping on the wall uh, right on the seam. And then we should be able to just throw the sky gem and hopefully we get launched upward. We did not. So here we go again. Yo, what's up, Inna? How you doing? Happy Tuesday. There we go. Getting a huge launch. Going around the invisible wall. And then definitely not dying and landing right here where uh, I was supposed to land. Obviously. So once we're here, we can just go through the uh, rest of the section. And uh, yeah. Basically, all we have to do to skip silver, use a sky gem here. Okay, or not. Uh, we'll use a purple gem first with a high jump. Sky gem there to get on top of this platform here. And then we can just high jump and get right over here to switch back to the Sonic that you switched to after silver. And just uh, head right on here. Basically too slow to move. It's so it's Sonic 2 XL, but in PO6 GN. All right, moving on into aquatic base. There is uh, two things I want to show off in aquatic base. First of them is in this first section here. So what we want to do is get to level three purple gem as quickly as possible, which uh, is pretty easy to do because aquatic base has a lot of enemies. And uh, what we're going to do is something if you watch a lot of my speed runs and stuff is uh, we're going to uh, skip tails. Um, which is not something we do in the speedrun very often, but in order to set it up, we do something that we do in the speedrun quite often, which is ball skip. So the first ball skip here will be doable in the silver release, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But essentially, we're going to stand on these little pillars here. And then just use a little bit of the purple gem to get all the way over here. And then normally, when you walk through this door, you'd switch to tails. However, the trigger is just far forward enough to where if we just kind of inch our way around this left pillar here, we can get into Tails a sec. Dang it. <laughs> Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're just going to inch our way here. 
and not switch to tails this time. <clears throat> then we're going to do a high jump, three purple gems, and we can stand on top of the uh, doorway here. And then we want to jump one, two, three. That's going to get us over the tails trigger. And uh, we need to sky gem and not hit the ground over there or else that's going to get us the tails. And then we can do Sonic's section of aquatic base uh, without... Uh, or we do Tails' section of aquatic base without Sonic. Now, uh, because I used photo mode to get here and didn't hit the proper trigger, the switch isn't here. Uh, but normally the switch was there and you could just, you know, go through this as normal uh, if you were Tails, which is very, very cool. So we can just use a little bit of purple gems, a little bit of blue gem high jumps uh, to navigate through Tails' section here. Which uh, we can just do like this and pop up. There we go. A little bit more of Tails' section here using some uh, fun Badnik bounces here. If we want to. I'm going to actually jump back and then use the blue gem to jump over there. Because that can be a little scary without a character that can fly. And then, of course, we can meet Sonic with Sonic. How beautiful. And Tails and Knuckles just kind of show up out of nowhere. Next thing that I want to show off is going to require us to have level 3 purple gem. This is in section 2 of aquatic base. What we're going to do here is an interesting thing is in retail 06, a lot of these doorways didn't have collision on top of them for one reason or another it's Sonic 06. So Chaos fixed most of them except for this one, which is the most useful one for us. Um, what we can do is we can be out of bounds, even though it doesn't look like I'm out of bounds, I actually am, um, by high jumping through that and standing on here. And then we can use the blue gem and the purple gem to get underneath the water in Knuckles' section, which allows us to completely skip Knuckles by doing this little thing here. We're going to spin dash all the way over, high jump, one, two, three, and go back in bounds past the door. Now what that does is Tails and Knuckles are following uh, Sonic here, but Tails and Knuckles also appear on the other side uh, as well of this checkpoint. And uh, yeah, so now we have two Tails and two Knuckles, uh, which is pretty, pretty goofy uh, for sure. Since I didn't hit the trigger with Knuckles here, I can actually do this. We're gonna go back here and we're going to activate the trigger with Knuckles because believe it or not, there's actually three different ways you can do this section. What we're gonna do here is when we're Knuckles, and we're gonna see this a lot more in Shadow's story, is um, we are going to fly over here and use some weird uh, quirk with the climbing characters to where climbing collision, uh, there's a little bit, if it's tagged, uh, sorry. If the climbing collision is tagged out of bounds, uh, you can actually, like, Rouge's and Knuckles' grab radius is a lot larger than you might think. So you can actually get the right angle and clip uh, through the wall by grabbing the stuff outside. And what we can do is we can just glide to the end now, which is pretty cool. Dude. Knuckles or Tails? Yo, Tails, let's go. Dude. And there we go. Heading all the way to the end here. And that finishes Aquatic Base. Tails Wave Ocean. Um, there's not really a whole lot to show. You can clip through the water with Tails um, and actually beat Tails Wave Ocean that way. So I guess I can show that off real quick before we head on over to Shadow is what we can do here is again, just break out of the automation. And with Tails, we can actually get really high up and then hopefully fall through the water here. Come on. All right, made a liar out of me. So we're just gonna do the classic photo mode and switch to Tails here. And then what we can do is we can run all the way underwater here, which with Tails is really, really slow. But uh, fun fact, this is actually faster than doing uh, the entirety of uh, <laughs> than doing the entirety of Tails' Wave Ocean. But what we can do is similarly to Sonic when I showed off like the gemless way 
uh, to do this is head on over to our good old rock friend here and just phase right through it. And then uh, we just fly out. Just like that. And we can just go all the way up here to the goal ring. All right, see you later, GN. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And that was all the glitches I know how to do in Sonic Story. Moving on to Shadow here. Shadow's stages have significantly less going on for them. Uh, basically, unless Rouge is in it. Because uh, Rouge is really broken. So, in White Acropolis here, we can do a few things. Uh, in Section 1, what we can do is do a high jump here. And then just phase through the wall there. And uh, just continue on like this. But that's not the only time we can do it. Because what we can actually do is a property of Shadow is if he is in a falling state... He's given a jump dash, which Sonic doesn't have. And that allows us to jump dash and completely just skip through uh, that first part of Wide Acropolis there and just clip into the doorway to get to the portal. With Rouge, what we can do is uh, the same thing we did with Knuckles in Aquatic Base, where we can get the right angle here and just clip through the wall. I said clip through the wall, Rouge. There we go. And we can fly into Shadow's section uh, with the searchlights of White Acropolis with Rouge. Now, uh, with this, uh, in PO6, you just have to destroy the searchlight glass. You don't have to destroy the entire structure itself. What we can do is we can use some of Rouge's moves, like these bombs here. We can use some of Rouge's moves, like these bombs here. Hello? Yo? Am I throwing it too high? There we go. Maybe we can destroy this. It's, uh, it's harder to clip through uh, mayonnaise, clip through below. If you go to the very top of that section, it's just as easy as Chapel Jungle. But it's just getting the clip fast, that's tough. So we go ahead and just hit all these searchlights with Rouge's bombs here. Go, nice. Try that, there we go. Oh, it's faster, yes. You're correct. And uh, interesting thing about the climbing characters. So climbing isn't something that's naturally inherent to Rouge and Knuckles. The actual terrain has to be tagged as climbable terrain. So in sections that Rouge and Knuckles are not supposed to be in, uh, you can't climb. Which uh, is interesting, and honestly kind of something I wish they maybe did for 3D Sonic games, because climbing is kind of broken. Um, uh, another way would be maybe to give them stamina. But uh, that was White Acropolis. Next up, uh, in Shadows Kingdom Valley, there's not a whole lot going on in Section 1. But if we head on into Section 2, which again is Section D for some reason, uh, we can do a couple things here. Firstly, what we can try to do, and I'm going to have to reset the game after Kingdom Valley here, is with Rouge, and I'm not going to attempt this for long, we can do another clip out of bounds. Now, this one is so ridiculous. I was about to say that that one is so ridiculously hard. <laughs> like, this is... I mean, I just showed it like that. There is... It is so difficult to get that wall clip. Well... <laughs> um, I actually don't know the route here once you clip through. Um, do we have to clip again? We have to get two clips. Oops. Oh, uh, whatever. So what we're going to do, uh, if you collect the keys and or clip out with Rouge here, uh, what we can do is grab the hover car and actually jump with the hover car and just aim toward this wall. Because the hover car has invisible wheels and no real sense of gravity, you can just scale that wall and fly with the hover car all the way to the trigger to go into Kingdom Valley Section 3. Which is pretty insane. Shadow Crisis City? I'm trying to think. Yeah, unfortunately, Shadow Crisis City has nothing for us. Uh, which kind of sucks. So we're just going to have to skip that one. Flame Core is interesting. What we can do... And unsurprisingly, Shadow doesn't have as many glitches as Sonic because he doesn't have the insane movement kit that Sonic has with the... Uh, with the gem abilities. Uh, let's just hop into Flame Core Section B here. What we can actually do is we can do Tube Clip with Shadow. Now, unfortunately, Shadow doesn't have uh, any speed shoes, so it makes Tube Clip even harder to accomplish. We don't really need this invincibility, 
But if we get the tube clip, obviously we can't do it the other way because we needed the purple gem and sky gem uh, for that. But if we just use some spin dashes, we can clip out with Shadow and get to his section here, which saves just a little bit of time because you don't have to open the door. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Flame Core Shadow. Again, Crisis City Flame Core Shadow, just because we don't have the movement kit for it, um, like we do with Sonic, we can't really uh, do that stuff. Moving on here to Radical Train. What we can do with Radical Train is actually probably the craziest thing that uh, Shadow has to offer. Is what we can do is um, completely bypass having to damage the train. So what we're going to do here is instead of hitting the switch on the right, we're actually going to high jump around the left side. And that way it gets us all the way down. Yeah, I lost uh, I lost internet for a second. I apologize, but should be back now. Refresh your streams if you can hear me. Do a little high jump here to get to the light dash pretty quickly. And we are going to skip the train again. Uh, we're going to skip the train again by just doing that and then heading into Radical Train Section 2. You only have about 47 seconds to do that. Sky, I know. I know. I saw you. You should be good now. Refresh your streams. Pause, play, all that good stuff. Radical Train Section 2 is probably the most broken uh, section of this game. So, interestingly enough, you can jump over this wall and land on the tracks here, even though there's like crazy invisible walls and stuff. And Chaos, uh, just for some detail, put a... Uh, put a decorative train here, but this train, if you destroy it, actually triggers the end of the level still. So we can just do some chaos spears through the invisible wall, and there we go. Yes. Completed radical train, it's that easy. Shadow Aquatic Base. Shadow Aquatic Base is uh, insane in one aspect. And that is, is that um, the same thing we did with Sonic to clip out of bounds, we can do with Shadow as well. Actually just going to teleport there. Interestingly enough, it's really hard with Shadow because Shadow doesn't have the purple gem and a high jump doesn't quite get us uh, all the way to the top like the high jump purple gem combo did for Sonic. What we have to do is get lucky that one of these boxes uh, because they're wooden, they get destroyed, so we can't really manipulate them at all. One of these boxes is able to get us to the top here. But uh, what I can do, just for the sake of showing it off, is I can just teleport Shadow to the top here. So again, we are out of bounds. And what we have to do is spin dash. Whoops. What we have to do... Is we have to spin dash. Oh my gosh. What we can do here is, uh, I forgot to explain it, we're gonna spin dash jump off of that, and then we need to ride out of bounds. Uh, unfortunately, I, I landed too far uh, in bounds, but what we have to do is you literally have to be on the seam. Uh, let me see if I can put Shadow there. Just, again, this is for demonstration. Uh, Shadow, you can literally stand right on the seam, and it's only exclusive to these rooms with the, the outcropping, so... What we can do is kind of jump here, whoops, and clip back in bounds, which is a big whoopsie. And I think we might be able to actually just run. Yeah, we are. So what we have to do here is to stay out of bounds, we're going to have to spin dash high jump. Yo, Naylin, welcome back. Spin dash high jump around, yes. and then go straight into the goal ring, just like that. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. Um, that's something, again, you can do, and I think is done in the Aquatic Base IL, but you have to get lucky with the RNG in order to get uh, the boxes in the right spot to be able to jump out of bounds. Moving on here into Shadow's Wave Ocean. Uh, we don't have uh, any glitches, actually. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show off uh, doing this section gliderless. So you can hop in the glider. In fact, you should hop into the glider. 
Um, but uh, you can do it without that with some uh, fun high jumps and uh, spin dash jumps and stuff. So here we go. We're going to spin dash jump over here. And then the bingo challenge. Yes. Yes, it is. We'll see if this is possible in silver. I'm going to show this off just in case it's not. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get on certain rock formations without any high jumps or anything. But, uh, yeah. Gonna just go through here. Whoa. Okay. Now, what we need to do here is some more high jumps. I think you might be able to get to here without high jump. But I think you might need high jump for that unless we can get a crazy slope jump somehow. Well, let's go ahead and hit this guy just like we did right at the beginning. And those guys are going to move. So we got to land on the boardwalk here. Thankfully, these boardwalks are invincible. We're going to inch forward here. Do a Chaos Spear to break that, and then use another Chaos Spear to give us the homing attack back to there. And then move on over here. He is retaining the double homing attack, but uh, you need the high jump to get enough height to get the to uh, those ledges. So that pillar, unfortunately, not breakable. So we're going to have to spin dash jump over to this one. One, do a Chaos Spear to reset our horse or a vertical momentum. Then land on this boardwalk. Spin dash jump over here to this boardwalk. And then uh, we're almost home free. What we got to do is just like before, we're going to chaos spear. Chaos spear back or just hit the item box, which works too. And then this one's a little scary because of how close it is to the water. Just like that. Do a spin dash jump to get onto these boardwalks. One more spin dash jump over. And that is gliderless shadow wave ocean which is absolutely insane we go to the hover car here we are going to go with the hover car straight into the goal ring um if i angle this right the hover car is going to continue to run in the results screen let's see i can hear it is it gonna show up hey we saw it a little bit but you can have, A, hey, it's doing wheelies. <laughs> you can see on the left side of your screen there. Yeah, the hover car can show up in the results screen, I guess because uh, you're holding A and you don't let go of A and that kind of stuff. Finally, Dusty Desert. Uh, there's only one thing we can show, well, actually two things we can show off here. So this is something that I believe is staying in the silver release, but uh, what you can do is normally you're supposed to drive through all these pillars to open the door. Uh, but what Chaos did is that there's actually a dev trigger here. I don't even know if it's a dev trigger. I think he knows the section is really painful, so he just put a trigger there next to that breakable wall. It just opens the uh, opens the path, which is really, really nice. So with Omega here, uh, Chaos, uh, a pretty notorious skip that's really easy to find casually in Retail 06, is being able to just hover with Omega. Omega is literally the most broken character in Retail 06. Like, he can fly. He has the fastest ground speed. Um, but in this particular instance, Chaos added some statues and some invisible walls. Absolutely getting sniped here. Um, added some walls and such uh, so that you can't glitch with Omega. However, Omega's Gatling gun bullets can glitch through the wall. So what we can do here is... Hit this switch that we'd normally need to hit later, we can just hit it right through there, which is really, really cool. So if we were to go do the rest of Omega section and we would end up here, these platforms would already be available to us and... Never notice that? Yes, Omega has the fastest ground speed in Retail 06. Other than like Mach Speed Sonic, I guess. But yeah, that was, uh, that was Shadow Stages. Um, unfortunately, not as much to show off as Sonic. Again, we just don't have the movement kit for it. The final thing that we get to end on for the glitch hunt here is in Rouge's Tropical Jungle. Whoops. I pressed uh, quit instead of start over. In Rouge's Tropical Jungle, what we can do is instead of collecting the keys, uh, we can do it kind of like Retail 06. Because in Retail 06, if you've never played it, there weren't keys to hunt here. 
Bruce just had to get from the beginning to the end. And she's a gliding character in a 3D space with no limits to how far she can glide or how much she can climb. So you could just come over here, climb up, and hit the goal ring. Um, but we have to be a little bit more creative in PO6. What we do is we come again against a wall that isn't climbable with a wall that's climbable. Flip through. And then we can just hop right up here. Hop over here. And booyah. And that's it. That was the entire uh, Sonic PO6 Glitz Exhibition. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. And farewell. Sonic PO6 Shadow Release.